Hi guys and welcome to the One Motorhome channel. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating a lovely van for you. Hopefully this is the one for you. Uh, now today it's an Auto Sleeper Burford Duo. Uh, this is built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Uh, it's got a 2.2 .2 turbo diesel engine. There's lots and lots I'm going to show you. So follow me around and let's have a really good look. As usual, I'm going to go really quickly around the outside. Uh, obviously there's a bit of wind noise and traffic noise. Uh, but starting off on the front, obviously Mercedes Sprinter, uh, probably the best uh, cab you can get for a motorhome. Comes with that big star on the front, which obviously means quality. Uh, really nice. So this one is a fully automatic gearbox, uh, rear wheel drive, drives absolutely fantastic. Um, now you've got lovely alloy wheels, so Mercedes alloy wheels that come with this. And then just moving along the side, look at these graphics going down the edge here really really nice touch actually um, you've got a huge chule canopy on the top uh, now that can be extended out and obviously will protect you from the sun and the rain now just beneath that you've got an led strip light which will keep that area illuminated and obviously that's the habitation door there now just below here this is a little wet locker and now inside here you can keep your ramps cables all that sort of stuff basically uh, wet and dirty things that you don't want to keep inside your lovely uh, motorhome. Um, moving along to the side a bit, just those grills there, that's for the uh, fridge, so you can see from the distance between those two vents that it's got a really big fridge freezer in it, which I'll show you when we get inside, and wait till we get inside, the layout is absolutely fantastic. Now, just here, whoop, I can open it, uh, we've got an external barbecue point, now that leads directly to an under underfloor mounted gas tank, uh, which holds 25 litres of gas. And just in here, you've got a little three pin plug so you can plug in a stereo and that sort of stuff outside. Uh, again, we've got these alloy wheels and really lots of windows actually all the way around this. So it's really nice and airy inside, which I'll show you when we go in. Um, but let's have a look at the, the back. Now, it comes with these bike rack rails now these are really low down, so it's really convenient actually just to pop your bike on there. And one thing I really like actually is these uh, LED lights on the back, really modern looking. Now, just above the top there, you've got a reversing camera. Um, so that will show you what's going on behind you when you're reversing. And this is quite a big motorhome, but I'll go through the dimensions of it uh, shortly. Now, moving forward, we've got a toilet cassette where your cassette lives. This is uh, storage that leads underneath the single bed, which I'll show you inside. So you can access that from inside the vehicle or outside. Just beneath there, you've got the water drain for the wastewater. And then a little bit further along, just down there, uh, you've got your fresh water drain. Um, it's got nice sized tanks on this as well, which I'll let you know about when we get inside as well, the size of those tanks. Now, there's two ways of filling this van. You can either fill it with a whale pump so you can suck in water into the vehicle here. This one is for a external uh, point for a uh, aerial or if you want to plug into a satellite on a campsite. And this one is where you hook up your electricity. So when you want to charge it on the campsite, uh, either on the campsite or at home actually. And this one is where you fill up your fresh water. Now this has got a refillable gas system on it. Now this is the LPG system, so that just pops off and you plug that in at a petrol station and LPG and you fill up the vehicle uh, with gas. It's really easy and it saves you quite a bit of money actually. Now just inside, this is a little gauge that shows you how much gas you've got on board, um, but we'll go through a little bit more of that when we get inside. But um, let's have a quick walk around just so you can have a look. And again, I apologise about the the noise surrounding us. We are open today and there are lots of people around. But look at this, what a moto. Let's have a good look inside, shall we? Right, so we're inside. Uh, we've got some peace and quiet. <laughs> um, again, I apologize about that. There are people around and uh, when there's a camera, they seem to make more noise, uh, which is always a little bit annoying, but there we go. Um, so uh, in the cab area, Let's have a good look at this. Now, obviously, as I mentioned earlier on, this is on the Mercedes chassis. Uh, the driver's seat is spun around at the moment. Obviously, that's a captain seat, uh, but you've got Mercedes satellite navigation, cruise control, um, keyless uh, start-stop, and a multifunctional steering wheel on there as well. Um, you've got 
lots and lots of space in the cab actually it's a really nice place to be and the seats are really really comfortable um just above if you have a look just here this is an lcd screen which will actually show you what's going on behind you whilst you're reversing uh, so that is really really handy with a vehicle of this size um obviously this vehicle is a big motorhome uh, just to give you exact dimensions actually uh, it is around 7.9 meters uh, in length and around 2.3 meters in width uh, so very spacious and very very comfortable um, but moving back a little bit further uh, you can see we've got opposing bench seats here now these really easily actually just pull out let's have a look like that they pull out and then those cushions go across and that will make into a really nice size double bed uh, to give the exact dimensions of that is 2.2 meters or around 2.2 meters uh, by uh, by 1.2 meters so yeah 2.2 by 1.2 so plenty of space for two people to sleep right let's just pop these back in now just to show you underneath here you've got a huge amount of storage under there um so that is a lot of storage space and there's even a little safe in there in the corner to keep your passports or luxury items and then on this side let's pop that up again you've got storage underneath there and also this van comes with a lithium battery so that will last for a long long time that's uh, a nice extra actually they're, they're quite expensive but they they do come with this vehicle now just above the seats we've got lots of storage so one cupboard in here another one there and turning round really nice skylight which you can open and then just above me here another skylight and again more storage up on the top here now this little box is called an iNet box and basically you can control your heating system remotely which is lovely if you're out walking um, you can actually control the air conditioning unit as well with that which is really nice in the summer if you're going for a walk you come back and it's really nice and cool because you've you've activated it on your mobile phone now looking at the kitchen area above the sink and the hob you've got storage again with plate holders and then just above this one again a bit of storage this is a little infill cushion it shouldn't actually be in there but you can see the size of that uh, really nice now just below that you've got three gas burners and an electric hot plate so if you're on a campsite and you want to save your gas you can use their electricity which is always a bit of a plus a nice size sink plenty of work surface and typical auto sleeper they even give you a bit extra as well so when you're cooking you can do the chopping and things like that now here you've got a grill and an oven so a really nice size oven you can fit a chicken in there have your sunday roast and then inside here we've got a bit of storage in the drawers another drawer in there just beneath that really nice bit of space actually and a little kitchen roll holder and then just in this one let's have a look more storage again and then beneath for your pots and pans another little cupboard but yeah lots and lots of uh, space in the kitchen right so moving around again to the right hand side so this is the habitation door and um, just to point out actually they've all got blackout blinds on them and that is on every window and they've also got mosquito nets that come down and on the front you've got concertina cab blinds going all the way around so all the windows will have nice privacy so people can't see in um, whilst you're camping. Um, just above here, let's have a look at this. We've got these nice little lights. These are clever actually. Um, they're designed so as you're walking past them, they don't blind you, but underneath the light, it's really bright. So it just doesn't dazzle your eyes as you're walking past, which is nice. And you can also move these along the rails. So if you're reading at one side, um, you can have more light there, which is a nice little touch, actually. A uh, carbon extractor fan underneath here. Uh, so that will get rid of the majority of the smoke. And then just above the habitation unit, habitation aircon. Um, this will blow warm and cool air. So it's basically climate control, uh, which is gorgeous. I mean, if we're having these summers like we've been having for the last couple of years in the UK, they are really, really nice to have. Uh, expensive to add as an aftermarket fit 
um, but this one obviously comes with the van. Um, this is the microwave plateless microwave, so as you're traveling, it's not going to rattle. And then beneath that, we've got a huge, if I can just unlock that, huge freezer. And then beneath that, let's just unlock that, we've got a huge fridge. Really nice. Really, really nice. Now, Auto Sleeper give you a table. So you've got a fold away table in here. If I can just get back so you can have a look. Now that pops out and it can be used in the lounge area here, or you can take that outside and use that underneath the canopy so it saves you bringing another table with you. Right, so moving into the bedroom. So one thing I will say about this van is I really like the separation. So you've got the cabin, spare bed or living area, big kitchen, huge fridge freezer. Then you come through into your bedroom. <laughs> and look at this. Uh, two single beds in here. Now, let me just get the dimensions of these for you. One second. So the dimensions of these single beds is 1.86 by 780. So 1.8, roughly 1.8 meters by uh, 780 uh, mil. And that's, uh, that's both sides. So really nice size single beds. Let's just come in and close the door so you can have a look from the other side. Now, at either side of the bed, well, both sides, you've got a wardrobe. So his and hers, if you like. Um, it depends how how nice your wife is, whether she likes to share. But one in there with a nice light. And also this side, again, another nice big wardrobe. Now, if you're wondering what these are, this is for the Wi-Fi system. So this has got a Wi-Fi aerial on the roof. Uh, so you can connect to that. So you've got your own little hotspot. And you can obviously connect your laptop so you can work away. Or if you've got a Wi-Fi TV, you can connect to that. Uh, this is a MaxView booster. So that boosts your TV signal. So it's got a TV aerial on there as well, a digital TV aerial. Again, we've got these nice little lights all the way around. And actually, these, these lights at the top are really nice. Uh, LED strip lights uh, to sort of set the mood. Cupboard space. Again, more cupboard space. Turning around. More cupboard space again, so plenty of storage. And again, more cupboard space and the lighting's uh, the same this side, but really nice bedroom. Really, really nice, I have to say. So earlier on we were outside, I just popped that up. That's the little hatch from outside. So you can gain access to this outside or in. Uh, at the moment, it's got all the carpets wrapped up in here, but this is a huge amount of storage underneath here. So you can keep all your bits under there. Um, and then on the other side, let's have a look, see if we've got any space under here. There we go. So loads of storage underneath there as well, some extra space, and it's got a Truma heating system, and that'll run from gas or electricity. So that basically uh, will keep this vehicle really nice and cosy wherever you are. Now, the shower door, hello, uh, bathroom door, sorry, is here. You've got a nice mirror for getting ready. And then inside, look at this really really nice uh it has got a light in here i'll turn it on but it's got an extractor fan in it so i apologize for the noise so extractor fan in there really nice size separate shower just turn that off to get rid of that noise turn around and then obviously you've got an electric flush toilet towel rail holder and then just up on the top if i can open it some more cupboard space as well but yeah what do you think guys Gorgeous, isn't it? Um, remember, um, these vehicles are made in the UK, uh, made by Auto Sleeper in the Cotswolds. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at this. Look at this view all the way through. I'll turn around to do a, a, a walk of the other way, but let's have a look. What a gorgeous motorhome. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm just gonna go through a few of the extras with this. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off for a second and we'll go through some of the extras, bear with me. What do you think then, Auto Sleeper Burford Duo? Gorgeous, isn't it? Um, now, to run through a few of the extras, uh, this one's got an external barbecue point, external plug, plug, plug I can't say it, external plug point, uh, two ways of filling, either with a pump or with a hose. Uh, it's got a solar panel on the roof, digital TV aerial, it's got a Wi-Fi aerial. Um, it's also got an onboard tracker. Um, you've got an awning on the side. Uh, you've got sat nav, 
cruise control, cab air conditioning, habitation air conditioning. Uh, there's not a lot actually that you can't, that you don't have with this vehicle. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, just to give you a few of the, uh, the sizes of things. So for example, you've got two tanks. You've got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank. Now the fresh water tank is 91 litres, so a big, big tank. And the wastewater tank is also 91 litres. Um, this particular vehicle fully loaded is 4,100 kilograms. So you do need a C1 to drive it. Uh, and it's got over 700 kilograms payload. So a lot, a lot of payload. It sleeps four, uh, but it's only got two belts. So it's got the driver's seat and the passenger seat with belts. Uh, but the rest of the vehicle uh, doesn't have any extra belts in it, um, but it is a lovely, lovely motorhome. It can sleep for and there's lots of space. You could tour everywhere in this. Really, you could. Right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Burford Duo. Gorgeous van on a Mercedes cab. Now, if you like the channel, if this is the perfect van for you, do comment below and also do hit subscribe there's lots more coming uh, we try and do a van at least every two or three days so you get lots and lots of video content coming through um, this van is absolutely gorgeous great 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 van great layout uh, let me know what you think in the comments below take care and i'll see you soon